1939, when Britain was on the brink of World War II, and the nation prayed and waited for peace with honor. I am speaking to you in the cabinet room at 10 Downing Street. When all we stood for was in peril, one Englishman above all others inspired the free world. And another great Englishman dared to cry out from the darkness. Come down here and fight, I mean it! Come on! Come on, come on, it's over it! I'm gonna die, I've died in my bed. Look, you silly movie! You all right? No! I've knocked the bleeding... You've never seen Alf like this. They're only supposed to come out on clear nights! Now Britain's most colourful character, Alf Garnet, is bigger, better and funnier on the big screen in Till Death Us Do Part. Warren Mitchell is Alf Garnet, the proud father. You love your daddy, don't you? Hey? Oh, shut up! The great lover. Dandy Nichols, his wife. Don't be daft. Sweet pie! Anthony Booth, his son-in-law. Eunice Stubbs, his loving daughter. Look, get off of there, you randy scarf kid! Garnet, the tolerant father. Garnet, the astute politician. What a bloody hell of Wilson about running this country, then! Well, I'd sooner have Wilson running the country than that soppy grammar school twitty. Garnet, defender of the faith. I'm oh. as religious as anybody else is. I've been to church. Twice. Look, Mike's mum goes every Sunday. Look, I said I was religious. Didn't say I was a bloody religious maniac. Garnet, the intrepid sportsman. <laughs> He's catastrophic. No, he's goodness! He's patriotic. He's a bloody Russian linesman, isn't he? I remember Starling Bird! Always ready to lend a helping hand. Watch it, comes off. Ah! It is! The coon's got a sense of humour, is he, eh? <laughs> Till death us do part is part of our history, a family saga. <laughs> In peace. Uh, I'll in mine too. In war, for anyone who's ever had his back up against a wall, those famous last words, till death us do part. Uh,